Hey everybody, it's Jocelyn. Last night was my first video log, and so tonight I thought I would go ahead and make another one. Um, one of the things that I realized when I was on the first round of HCG was um, during times of hunger, I was trying to figure out exactly what was triggering this hunger. And so some of the realizations that I had was one, they were auditory, um, stimulation and then the other one was visual stimulations um, when I was watching TV that was the hardest time for me um, because you know every commercial break there's at least one food commercial if not two and I found myself you know thinking oh that sounds really good I let's go see what I've got in the pantry here and maybe I've got some cookies or something like that um, or I would think oh you know I haven't had Whataburger and so long that looks so good you know my mouth start drooling and so I had to really watch uh, during uh, during the commercials I had to give myself something to do so I'd get up and do a little bit of housework or something during the two minute break and then go back and finish watching the TV but I didn't realize how much I eat and how much um, how much I just like to chew while I'm watching TV so, um, another thing that I realized was how much my life centered around food. When I would go out to eat with friends for lunch, for dinner, we might go out after work and get a drink and have some, you know, potato skins or cheese fries or whatever. And all of, all of my activities revolved around food, you know, birthday parties, um, you know, my grandbaby, I'd take him out and we'd go, I hop and. And that was our date. Um, so Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, it's all around food. So changing those those um, traditions that I have and and you know finding new traditions is going to be a little challenging, especially with the holidays approaching. Um, trick or treat. You know what I used to do is I would go and buy candy bars. Um, usually the first week in October and then by the middle of October they were gone and so of course I had to go and buy more candy and then by trick-or-treat those were by Halloween those were gone so I'd have to buy new candy on Halloween too and then while I was waiting for the trick-or-treaters I'd you know munch on a few candy bars and um, then after Halloween there was all that leftover candy so Somebody had to eat it, and I ate that, and then I would go and I would look through my kids' sacks that they brought home from trick-or-treating, and I would pick out my favorite candy bars there, too. So it was just a month of candy, candy, candy. Um, so now what I've done is I've gotten candy that I don't like. I had to really search for candy that I didn't like, but I finally found some, and then I also got some little spider rings and bats and stuff that I can hand out as well that weren't candy. Um, for Thanksgiving, I think, you know, having turkey, uh, the dressing, the green bean casserole, um, the strawberry jello stuff that, that uh, my mom makes, you know, those are my favorites. And then you've got the pies and the desserts. And that's where my weakness is, is with the pies and desserts. Usually on Thanksgiving, I will make my grandmother's chocolate pie and that's the only time of the year that I make it usually and so you know if I'm only gonna make it once a year I feel obliged to eat at least one whole pie myself so um, you know it's a lot of work so anyway this year won't be making a chocolate pie and then Christmas um, you've got all the people bringing cookies and um, popcorn tins and um, all the holiday parties, so there's so much food centered around. Usually for our Christmas celebration, on we get together on Christmas Eve, and we'll usually either have pizza or we'll have sandwiches and um, cheese dip and all sorts of yummies. So this year, that's going to be challenging as well. Um, sticking to the vegetable plate and just not my idea of Christmas. So um, we'll have to see how that goes. Anyway, um, I'm kind of anxious to get back on a round of my next round of injections so that if I'm doing that, I know I'm not going to cheat because 
I spent a lot of money for that, and I don't want to ruin it. I want to take make the most of the of the time that I have on the injections and lose as much weight as possible. So that would help. And I'm not sure. I've heard that you need to wait six weeks in between the time that you stop your your first round and then the time that you start your second round. But then I've also heard that some people will stop, go through the three weeks of stabilization and then start another round right after that. So if you've done that or if you've, you know, had firsthand experience with, with a friend doing it or whatever, um, if you could share that with me, I'd appreciate it. Um, the other triggers that I found that you know, on Facebook, I'm playing these silly games, Yoville and um, Cafe World, and on both of those, it deals with food. You know, bacon cookies and, and cakes and pies and all sorts of stuff on Yoville. And then on uh, Cafe World, there's pizza, there's spaghetti, there's turkey and roast. And you know, when you're on three ounces of meat for two, you know, two servings a day and two fruits. Um, your food's kind of limited, so, you know, I was playing these games and my mouth was drooling. <laughs> I was so hungry. Um, so even on the computer, there's there's a lot of, of food that, that you're faced with. At work, I've been kind of surprised at myself at how well I've been able to bypass some of the cookies and, and candy that people have up there. One night, um, I was really hungry and... Um, they were eating cherry sours and I took two cherry sours and I felt so guilty because I'd eaten two of the cherry sours. But, um, hey, before I would have been right there with them just eating as many as I could. Um, so I am proud of, of the, the, um, success that I've had with that and, you know, saying no to food, which is a novel, novel approach for me. Um, the other thing that I noticed was the the hundreds and hundreds of restaurants that I pass every day going to work. I drive about 45 minutes through Dallas-Fort Worth, and everywhere you turn, there's restaurants. Um, I've been so hungry for Whataburger, and there were a couple of times when I started to just pull in, get a Whopper, oh, darn it, a Whataburger, and be done with it because it's been day after day after day. So... Um, you know, it's hard to change the habits that you've had, the behaviors that you've done for so long. You're so ingrained in you that you just do them and, and you don't really even think about what you're doing. You just do it out of habit. Um, I had my grandbaby with me one time and I got him a Slurpee and it was kind of running over on the cup. So first thing I did was I went and I licked the Slurpee, Slurpee um, off, you know, and, and sucked a little bit of it so that it wouldn't run down the cup. and I thought, hey, you know, you're not supposed to be doing this. You're not supposed to be drinking that. It's sugar. And so I just did it without even thinking. Um, another time I took him to IHOP and we were eating pancakes and stuff. And um, I started to reach over and just take a bite of his pancakes and um, stopped myself. Um, I had a couple of egg whites while I was there and a fruit cup. And I didn't lose weight that day but I didn't gain weight either, so um, I felt very isolated because I realized how many activities centered around food um, that, I, that I was doing, and so um, it's been kind of difficult to think of new things to do. I came up with a couple, though. Um, some of the things I've done was I volunteered um, to be kind of a leader of a group, which requires sending out emails and I'm checking up on people and that type of thing, and so I've been spending more time on the computer doing that. The other thing that I did was I started doing nail art, um, you know, French manicures and, and drawing um, designs on my nails and that type of thing, which I don't have any on right now because I took it off yesterday. But it's kind of hard to eat when you have wet nails, and so and that's helped. It gave me something to do, a different hobby that didn't center around food. Um, got involved in a little scrapbooking. Uh, making cards and, and things like that. So um, instead of making food for people, I'm making cards. But anyway, time's up. So just thought I would share that, those visual auditory triggers that keep us wanting to eat. So you guys have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.
Bye.